all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from khox nation in today's video the other dragalia lost video we have some new units that recently came out into the game and as usual i'll just be going over them giving my thoughts about them uh and such and maybe whatever advice i might have as well so first up we have basically three new units two of them are five star uh one a dragon one an adventurer so we'll, we'll kind of make this quick but the first one is a five star fire uh sword uh user called leia by the way absolutely love the artwork looks very kawaii <laughs> And she, her activated abilities, Road to Glory, deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts burn. Burn? My bad. Uh, second ability, Floral, Floral Revolution, summons Crimson Garden, then deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead. Additional bonus damage will be dealt relative to the damage taken while Crimson Garden is active. So it has a nice little reflect kind of mechanic uh, incorporated in as well. It's honestly not too bad. Uh, probably not the greatest unit in the game as right now but it's honestly a pretty decent unit it's a pretty good unit um as expected of a five star unit uh co ability is a dragon haste plus 15 percent uh passive ability is force strike plus 50 percent increases force strike damage by 50 percent 100 percent stun resistance striking haste plus 12 percent this is probably one of the more notable aspects of her kit uh, which is increases skill gauge rate by 12% when the user's force strike connects. Honestly, that's really good because at least how I like to play is I like to do the full tapping combo and then the very end of the combo animation, I'll use a force strike. So that always helps. Uh, if I were to be using Leia, that would definitely help increase my skill gauge rates a lot more often, which also just helps me be able to use moves like floor, rev floor roll revolution more often um and maybe help get that uh that reflect mechanic kicking in a little bit more too so altogether it's a pretty good unit it's not the greatest unit <laughs> but it's it's pretty decent it's pretty good um it that's probably the most i could say about it though there's nothing like completely standing out about it that makes me go oh shit he's busted there's nothing about her that really goes that way for uh she's just a good unit that's the most i can say uh in terms of the dragon it's a five star fire dragon called apollo looks badass all right his activated buddy arrow of glory deals flame damage to the target and nearby enemies inflicts burn and reduces defense by five percent i will say that this is probably one of the best activated abilities that i've seen for a dragon so far uh not I can't quite say the best because I don't remember all of the abilities off the top of my head, but it's definitely one of the best. So already it's a really good dragon unit. Passive ability strength plus 50% if attuned to flame. That's pretty good. Uh, that's definitely up there as one of the strongest uh, strength bonus uh, passives for dragons. So all that's pretty, pretty standard. And then burning finisher plus 20%. This is more of like an icing on the cake than anything else. Uh, it does an extra 20% against burning enemies. That's pretty good. Okay. Especially because the fact that if you're attuned to flame anyways, um, some of the flame units already inflict burn anyways. So <laughs> altogether, it's not too bad. All, you could basically be doing like an additional plus 70% worth of damage just from those two passes alone, depending on what type of unit you're using. Um, and it's worth noting as well that his activated ability in itself already inflicts burn. One thing you do want to keep note though is that depending on the enemy or boss that you might be fighting, not all enemies can be burned. So in order to, if you're looking to try and take advantage of that type of uh, uh, ability or mechanic, just double check real quick and see what the opponent is weak to it's, or susceptible to. Make sure that they can actually be inflicted with burn first. And then if they are, then you could more re reliably start uh, uh, relying on burn mechanics. Of them. Okay. Just the only thing I have to worry out there. Really good uh, dragon. Uh, maybe not something to go completely chasing after for, but if you do obtain him, it's definitely one that you'll probably end up using the majority of the time. It's one of those units. Uh, next up is our four-star unit called Emma. 
activate ability called Pom Pom Pump. That's a mouthful. Uh, increases the strength of Flame Attuned Adventures and the team by 25% for 15 seconds. And Vigorous Defense increases the defense of Flame Attuned Adventures and the team by 15% for 15 seconds and grants them a one use shield that nullifies damage less than 25% of the user's maximum HP. Does not stack with any other shields. To be honest, Emma's completely. I don't want to say busted, but kind of busted for a four star unit. That's absolutely nuts for a four star unit. Most four star units that have really good abilities tend to only apply for themselves because they're, they're really good. So to see this much of a of buffs provided by Emma for a four star unit, that's absolutely insane. That's a little unheard of. Uh, also worth noting too is that she's a lance user which is completely un uncharacteristic uh, compared to what most typical lance users tend to have uh to have so much like supporting ability that like that's you don't see that very often so emma's a really good four star unit if you happen to obtain her and you don't have that very many uh five star units as of right now so definitely worth keeping in mind ability plus 15 percent hp Eh. Uh, passive abilities buff time plus 25%. That's pretty decent. Sleep resistance 100%. That's normal. Prime strength plus 5%. That's honestly not too bad as well. Okay. Um, we've started. We've been seeing more and more units come out these days, uh, coming out with the whole prime strength and defense ability. So that's just a little bit more of an icing on the cake. So altogether, I would say all of these units are equally or maybe not equally, but are all really good. They're not to the point though, where I might say, maybe you want to go chasing for them. They're the type of units where like, if you do get them, then it's really good. They'll probably end up being some of your most used units for quite a while, but there's nothing like new or game breaking about them. That warrants me wanting to chase after them, if that makes sense. Okay. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> But aside from that, there's one last thing that I do want to mention real quick in terms of whether or not I think maybe you should even go pulling for these. Is the fact that the uh, that Dragalia Law's first anniversary is coming up, I think next month, or is it the end of this month? It's coming up soon, okay? Uh, I believe it's this month. I believe it's coming up in like two weeks or something, two, three weeks. Yeah, I want to say it's coming up in like two weeks, so... Personally, I would recommend holding off on doing any pulls and just completely saving up. Just save up as much as you can for anniversary. Uh, just taking my account into as an example. The flames okay. of creation. I currently the path have to glory. 24 of the single pull tickets, as well as I still have one 10 pull ticket saved up, as well as I have like 7,400. Uh, I shall not Dam stand for dime right, whatever these things are called, the uh, saved up as well. So I can already do like a good the flames of creation light the path eight to pulls glory. or something like that. I don't know, something crazy. <laughs> I can do a decent amount of pulls already. So, and that's just now. I'll probably have maybe around ten thousand. I shall not uh, stand within for these fiends next who would weeks. threaten the peace. So, just throwing that out there. We have no idea what's going to come around the for the first anniversary. Like it's the, the first one, so we don't know what to expect. Most gacha games tend to, during their anniversaries, especially their first anniversaries, tend to uh, I shall not stand for release very kind of like new and game-changing type of units for the them. So like the that's kind glory. of what I'm expecting in terms of the first anniversary of Dragalia Lost, just something, just something extraordinary or game changing or meta breaking, whatever, uh, when that comes around. So that's kind of why I'm saving up for it so much. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Go ahead, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about the newest unit in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos, such as this one. My name is Brian from KHOX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.